Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or if you haven't seen this type of video before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything's a total washout. We have a lot to talk about today. So much so that I'm filming this on Sunday just because I needed like the extra time to film and edit this because I have a feeling I'm going to go off and this is going to be a long video to edit. On top of that, I had to skip last week's because the BWOW should have been last week, but it was the beginning date of my new Project Pan, the HP Project Pan for 2020. So if you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards. But that's why, because the starting date was that Wednesday. So I just pushed the BWOW back a week and whole oh, did so much happen this week. All right, so if you follow me, I don't think I talked about this too much on Instagram, but if you follow me on Twitter, I kind of popped off on this. Oh, let me scoot to this side. That way we can actually see the pictures, Monica. This. So I love coming up. I like like uh, people come up with different names for J-Star instead of just saying his name. I think my favorite one is Jebediza Starship. So let's use that. Uh, so Jeb Star, Jeb Bush, <laughs> Jeb Bush Starship um, came out with this. So this... I feel like I want to explain kind of how I saw and experienced this release. So it is, well the first the cover is like a black and white marbly kind of texture and it's titled The Cremated Palette. So there's that. I have to say as someone who likes black and white the packaging was kind of nice and like that's about the only positive I can give this release. Not only is it called The Cremated Palette, <laughs> coming out during a global pandemic where in my country almost 100,000 people have died. I'm still under quarantine. <laughs> I left my house for the third time in two months today to go grocery shopping. I'm still working from home full time. This, this is completely out of touch, first of all. Second of all, the palette itself is gross. <laughs> Like, as someone who really likes morbid things, like, I, I like Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. I've got skulls all around my room. Like, I like a good morbid aesthetic. But I know there's a time and a place for that. And on top of that, I like color schemes and palettes that aren't the equivalent of, like, rotted Swiss cheese. Like, look at this palette. <laughs> And this couldn't be pushed. Also, this is supposed to be a spring release. This couldn't have waited until Halloween, at which point no one would have had an issue with it. Because it would have been Halloween themed. No, this, this is supposed to be a spring release. <sighs> so, first of all, the palette looks like trash. So, don't even, like, I, I'm gonna say it. Don't buy it. Um, I The first time I saw it, I was like, bam, I already have a better version of this. And it's the ColourPop Blow-In Smoke Palette. And it actually has, like, color. <laughs> it has shades that work on a variety of skin tones in here. And it's not all ash. So, first of all, get the ColourPop one. Ignore this one. Second of all, the amount of people... Because I, I popped off on Twitter. And Twitter, of course, is where all the Jebediza Starship fans are. And the amount of people that, like, bend over backwards defending him is actually kind of shocking. I know Smoky Glow tweeted about it and I res I responded about how, um, you know, there's a time and a place for things like this. I know Black Mirror, you know, a very dark TV show was pushed back because of this. And someone else responded and said, yeah, but TV shows don't expire, makeup does. Now, one thing I want to put to that point is that people were saying, oh, the release is already pushed back. He's got to release it now. Otherwise, it's, it's going to expire. First of all, I don't want to be like rude or mean, but who actually follows the expiration dates on palettes? I, I have palettes that are years old. I've only seen a couple of palettes actually go bad. And that's out of how many palettes I've owned? A lot. So there's that. Second of all, the reason that this release was pushed back, I saw on Twitter, it wasn't because they were like being conscientious and they were following their PR team. It was a production issue. Their production was pushed back because they were not ready. They did not have everything ready to go for this release. So it was their own damn fault that it was pushed back. So if you are already delayed once and you're a company that's making millions and honestly, I, it just blows my mind. Why couldn't this wait to Halloween? Push it to Halloween. Nobody would have had a problem with this. Nobody. So there's that. So yeah.
off, I mean, language, uh, piss off if you're trying to come in here and defend him and say, oh, well, they had to release it. Makeup expires. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even talk about the nasty ass glosses. Oh my God. So he released these glosses. They look terrible. I mean, the whole point, I guess, if you want to look dead, there's better, there's better ways to look dead. There's so many better ways to look dead. <laughs> <laughs> these just look like shit they look horrible oh my god they look terrible anyway okay so glasses aside that's just my thing like why couldn't this have been pushed back to halloween and i have a theory my theory uh he's been in a lot of hot water lately of course he is because he's a terrible person and everything just seems to like slide off of him so i think this was done on purpose they were like oh shit this was already pushed back it's tone deaf it's terrible it looks like shit let's release it now and stir you know draw up some more drama and get people talking about this so we forget everything else that's been happening with jebediah's starship for the last month which I don't even want to get into all of that. Like, it's basically just in, like, my piles and piles and piles of evidence proving how much of a terrible person he is with um, him supporting a, I don't know if it's, I don't know if he's actually been um, convicted or not, but an alleged pedophile supporting him. Um, a, things going back to him lying during the original drama get in. And then apparently YouTube is taking down videos that are too antagonistic against him. Like I know Petty Page, who I stopped supporting a while ago because she went through some shit. But apparently she did a video where she apparently had a come to Jesus moment and realized he was a terrible person and made a video. I couldn't watch it because YouTube took it down and there was no reasoning. There was no way for her to, um, like repeal it and she couldn't get in contact with anybody at youtube and then people took her video and like tried to re-upload it on other channels same thing they were all took taken down so people are like oh is someone in youtube like on his payroll because they're just taking down videos that are critical of him so anyway all of that so to get rid of all of that drama he releases this because everyone's talking about this and they're ignoring everything and that was a brief rundown of just what i happened to catch on the periphery i didn't even do a deep dive into his drama recently <laughs> So that's why I think he did it. I think it's because he wants everyone to talk about this, that he could keep his stands. He doesn't even have to defend himself here. His stands are defending him. It's the same thing that I said earlier, like, oh, makeup expires. He has to release it now. He was already pushed back once. People die every day. It doesn't matter. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. No, this is not the time. This is not the place, especially because people that are going through this, their loved ones have to, for the most part, you, you die alone. And you're not allowed to take the body and do a funeral or whatever kind of burial or whatever you want to do according to your practices. They have to be cremated. I have had friends who have had people die. I, we've had a family friend die because of this. And I'm just, mm, it's the most out of touch thing I've seen. And we watched those celebrities sing wonder in uh, or something in a, a museum not museum in a, i can't even string together words and sentences because i was so pissed which is why i kind of wanted to film this yesterday when i first saw all of this because it was like the it was sneak peeked and then like i think it was revealed yesterday this is sunday i'm filming this so saturday i wanted to wait overnight i actually i wanted to watch the um the live stream that Jen Loves Reviews does every Sunday because they talked about this topic. I didn't have time to listen to it today. Today was actually hella busy. Man, the lighting is terrible here, but it, I'm editing. This is what we got. So I didn't want to go jumping in here. I Between filming this and editing it, I watched or I tried to, I tried to watch Jen Loves Reviews live stream from Sunday. And I've never like really like I've had my like meh moments with her because she seems to really like drama and like insert herself where she doesn't need to be but I just I was astounded by her reasoning for like not thinking this was a big deal she basically made a lot of a, like rounding assumptions saying like people who are angry about the name would be angry about it no matter when it came out which isn't true I said myself that this had been any, if this had been any other time I might have been tempted by the name and the packaging and the aesthetic I mean other than the palette itself which looks trashy but like I like the morbid aesthetic again I've got skulls around my room I just I happen to be a decent person and know that there's a time and a place for things but like Jen was just going off saying that like 
Um, it doesn't matter when you release it because those people are still dead. They're always going to be dead. More people are going to die. You know, you, she basically was saying because people are going to keep dying, you can never release it, which is bullshit. <laughs> so, so, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just astounded by that. And I'm really rethinking my subscription to her channel right now. Anyway, back to the video. But uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. Honestly, he did it to deflect drama onto something that his stands will defend him. So that he doesn't even have to jump in and then focus shifts because everyone has a 10 second attention span even though like the, the honest to god like it wouldn't have cost his company you know that much to just push us the halloween anyway all right now that i've spent a full 10 minutes ranting just about that i don't even know where i want to go next something else i want to rant about but it's not really a product it's more of a brand now, um, I think I mentioned this in another BWOW um, about how Blush Tribe was shutting down completely. The brand was going to be gone. I saw posts personally. I can't find screenshots of them. I hope that they're still out there somewhere of the brand owners like posting saying, nope, this is it. We are shutting down. I'm, it's personal. I don't want to talk about it. Please don't ask me about it. I'm not going to talk about it. The brand is shutting down and it's done. And that's how they were promoting it. And so they had like their final sale and everything was like on sale. And like they were like, you know what, once it's gone, it's gone. And I was like, oh, what a shame, you know, it's sad to see, you know, that kind of brand go. Now, I think this was posted uh, yesterday. I saw a post and it's on the Blush Tribe Instagram. And the first sentence is, a lot of people are asking about how the new brand launch will be announced. And I was like, what new brand? you just said you were shutting down and it was for personal reasons and you're not even going to talk about it. To find out now that this was just a cover for a rebranding, apparently this person, I, I don't actually know the owner of Blush Tribe, but apparently the owner of Blush Tribe is just creating a new company. <laughs> they're going to use all the same social media accounts they're just going to transfer everything over they're hiring i guess a pr team that's going to be working this and they're working on a new brand that just left a terrible taste in my mouth like there's a difference like if you even if they had admitted like hey we're doing a rebrand so everything is going you know what to get it on sale get it out the door sure but they wanted people to talk about this. They wanted, like, you know, I saw so many videos about, like, people talking about brands they're worried about. And since we heard about Blush Tribe closing, and I was like, oh, no, I've got, like, the one really good palette from them. But, uh, oh, it was just so frustrating and annoying to now see that it's like, oh, JK, I'm going to keep my social medias and everything. We're just going to change the handles and I'm making a new company. Is anyone, like... I mean, I tried to see it from the other way, but I'm like, there's no way I could see that it should have been handled like this. If, if you can, if there's another way, if you can see it, please let me know down below. But that just left a really bad taste in my mouth. I want to sell or declutter the one blush try palette that I have because I, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> and I'm not anywhere interested in this new whatever brand that they're going to come out with because that, that's shady. I don't like it. All right, so these bars from Beauty Bakery look adorable. Now that I'm done ranting, I think that's kind of everything I had like a hella negative opinion about. These are um, the bars mini face palettes. They're $18 each, which I think is pretty affordable. And it comes with a contour bronzer and a highlighter. And they've got different shades for different skin tones. And it just looks really pretty. There's one that has like a glowy, I mean, it's probably too dark for my skin tone, but it's got like this really pretty orange blush and then like a gold highlight and then a dark bronzer. I think that's kind of the one that I'm leaning towards because I, I don't want a hot pink blush I want that orange blush but I don't know if that bronzer would work for me but they're really cute I love the packaging I love the idea the price point seems just right for me mm -hmm. all right so these I'm sorry about the fan it's like so hot and with all the lights and everything it's starting to get hot in my attic anyway so uh house labs Lady Gaga's brand is finally coming out with a new palette and this is the Ha, what is it called the stupid love palette and um eh. that's like what i thought when i saw it i was just like oh eh. i saw someone else i forgot who it was they mentioned that this looked like a tart palette and i was like it does <laughs> this looks like exactly what like tart would come out with and i don't know is this also a pre-order 
will be available May 19th. Okay, at least there's a date for this to come out because every other House Labs product that I've seen, it's always been like you have to pre-order it and that always left a bad taste in my mouth. Like, why really? Just push the release date back then. Like, I don't understand why you want everyone to pre-order shit. Anyway, that being said, this palette is just, just meh. Like, I have all of these shades. The packaging is like, I don't know, the, I'm just thinking about the fingerprints that, are, that you're going to get all over this packaging. <laughs> uh yikes also on top of that it's 48 dollars. like mm, yeah yeah it's a yikes also this is coming out now and it's only available through amazon they should have pushed this back too because amazon is prioritizing uh like shipments right now and i don't know i mean i haven't bought makeup I, the last thing I bought was skincare, and I just bought it straight from the Ordinary's website because I was, like, almost out of everything. But I, I'm trying to keep any purchases to a minimum, so uh, I don't want to tell you what you should or should not do. But Amazon, like, as a brand, it does seem a bit weird that they're still releasing this when odds are if people do order this on release day, they're not going to get it for a long time. Alright, so, damn it, I want this. <laughs> I, I I feel like it's a gimmick, but I want this. So, Pat McGrath is coming out with the Divine Rose 2 palette. And uh, those swatches are so pretty. Damn it. I mean, like, it's mostly shimmers, but damn, do they look beautiful. Uh, I, I have one Pat McGrath palette that kind of let me down, but even then, like, the shimmers are really pretty there. And, oh my god, I'm talking myself out of this palette. Like, guys, help me out. I don't need this palette. If anything, this isn't limited edition, right? Because if it's limited edition, please don't be limited edition. Okay, it doesn't even come out until June. Good. There we go. Um, but then also, like, this might be what I save up and get me, like, for my birthday in December. <laughs> like, if it's not limited edition. if That's, that's the thing. Because I did that back with my first Natasha Denona palette. If I still wanted it after, like, eight months then I bought it. So this is gonna be like on my radar like in December. If I still want this, I'm gonna get it. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm gonna watch like, like anyone who reviews this palette. I'm gonna like binge watch all those videos come June. All right, so Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with some new products, specifically bronzers. I kind of wanted to try a Charlotte Tilbury face powder, just like the regular compact face powder, but I go through those so quickly and like I never want to spend too much money on loose powder or pressed face powder, like regular face powder, because I go through it so quickly. It's like, why? Especially when I have like really cheap alternatives that work really well. For a bronzer though, but then again, do I really use my individually packaged bronzers that much? No. And I have a bronze. See, see I'm, I'm working through this. I have a bronzer that I barely reach for. You know what? Nope. They look pretty. I don't need this. Okay, so I kind I saw this and I thought like this was already a release by Tarte because I could have sworn they already had a palette like this, but I guess not. This this is the Confessions of a Man Eater like face and eye palette, which it's pretty, I gotta say, but I have these shades. I've been looking. I really want to do like a new like rediscovering Tarte video. I'm, I'm not buying anything now again, but I really do once I can actually like go shop again. I want to just go through a Tarte display or look online and just like pick up a bunch of stuff. So if you have any recommendations for anything recent from Tarte, let me know down below. Oh, I didn't talk about this. Okay, so everyone's already talked about it by now since it's old news, but the new ABH and Ravina palette, eh, like that's exactly what I was just like, eh. The only shade that I kind of liked is like that hot yellow because like I'm not one who really uses pinks and purples that much. I say as I've been panning a red and purple palette but that's kind of why i picked it for the challenge anyway this palette is just meh and then oh so the liners so these are the liners that i saw like a few months ago but they were leaked which is why i couldn't find the video or the picture again so now that they're actually released i uh, i hate the packaging <laughs> i didn't i thought you could pull these apart like the melt stacks and use them separately no they're they're stuck together like that so you have to like use them like that i don't like that and also i don't like you can't buy them separately like, if anything, I might have bought just the white one and maybe the green or the red. But I'm not going to buy the trios because I'm not going to use every one of those. I wish I could buy them individually. Anyway, so just another meh release from ABH. Oh, so this, I actually, I really want to try this out. 
Um, so Milani just came out with a new cleansing balm. I'm sorry if you hear loud Spanish from downstairs. My grandma is talking to our relatives. <laughs> anyway, so Milani just came out with what it's called the Green Goddess Makeup Melter. And it's an affordable, I think it's still, let me double check my, yeah, $13.99. So it's about the same price as the Physician's Formula one, which I do like. Um, so I really want to try this one. I am really excited about this. I love seeing affordable uh, cleansing balms because I really do like the Clinique, Clinique one, but I go through that way too fast to spend that much money on a makeup remover, you know? So I'm excited. I really want to try this out. I don't know if I'm, I was going to say, I don't know if I'm going to get it in store or not. I'm not going to go in store anytime soon. So uh, we'll see. I, I will see if this comes to Ulta.com. Because I might place an order uh, at the end of the summer if I'm still in quarantine, which I might still be. <laughs> but um, I was really excited about this. It looks affordable. It looks great. I I'm excited to see if anyone else also picks that up. Let me know. If you happen to see it on the Ulta website, let me know. Give me a heads up. I'll add it to my cart now and get it in a few weeks. Okay, so this, I kind of thought this was a joke at first, but it's not. <laughs> Benefit is coming out with a beauty blender. That's it. That's the story. <laughs> They're just coming out with a beauty blender. They just literally just carved in Benefit. Like, they didn't even change the color. It's, it's, it's basically an encapsulation of what Benefit is and what they do. They literally just take existing shit, change it a little bit, and then release it. And they just do that over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> it's, oh my god. Mm. Mm, I'm not gonna buy that, definitely. And if you're looking for a good sponge... Shop Miss A is a dollar, and I love those sponges to death. And I'll say that until the day that I die. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to talk about, this was like just posted like a little bit earlier today. Lunar Beauty, which is Manny MUA's makeup brand, is doing a summer collection, which looks like a blush palette, and then some glosses. Gotta say, very spring, very summery, very on trend. Love it. I haven't bought anything from his brand didn't buy anything because I, I tried to stop supporting all the big people that were involved in all that drama but this looks adorable and i kind of am feeling that blush palette guys i'm kind of feeling that blush palette so let me know down below do you guys have you guys tried anything from his brand i don't know anyone who's purchased anything i don't think from manny uh so i don't i have no idea about the brand and what the quality is and what it may or may not be so let me know down below Alrighty, so i believe that is it for this week's bi-weekly wish list or washout let me know down below what you thought what your thoughts are about everything and yeah that's it i'm gonna put my ac back on <laughs> go play some animal crossing hope you guys have a great morning afternoon evening and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye